how to use the Windows Ease of Access Center. Windows provides many functions to assist those who are challenged. These are available in the Ease of Access window. To open the window, first open the Control Panel window. If the Control Panel icon isn't shown on your desktop, I encourage you to show it. If you don't want to do that now, just skip forward to Here's how to open the Control Panel without the desktop icon. Here's how to show the Control Panel on the desktop. Right-click the desktop, click Personalize, click Themes, click Desktop Icon Settings. To show the control panel, this box needs to be checked. It is checked already, so I'm not going to change it. If the control panel icon is not shown on your computer, check this box and then click OK. Since I'm not changing anything on this page, I will click Cancel. If the control panel is visible on your window, double-click it to open it. If you want to open the control panel without using a desktop icon, right-click the Windows logo and click Control Panel. Click Ease of Access and click Ease of Access Center. There are dozens of options on the Ease of Access Center, and this video will only discuss some of them. Consult the help for more information. For visually challenged users, if you click Always Read This Section Aloud, Windows will read the options in this box one at a time slowly. And you can start one of the options by pressing the space bar after you hear it. Also, visually challenged users might want to turn on the narrator, which will read anything the cursor points to on your computer. To turn on the narrator, click Start Narrator. To, to stop the narrator, right click and select Close Window. Also though, after starting the narrator, you can pin it to the taskbar. Start it, right click the icon, select Pin Program to Taskbar. Then to start, stop it, Click it once to show the settings, click Exit. If you have trouble typing, but you can move the mouse, you can start the on-screen keyboard and type by clicking on the letters or numbers that you want there. To close the on-screen keyboard, click the X box. If you have trouble seeing the screen, you can try the high contrast option. Once you have the option set up that you want, you can use the left, alt, and shift buttons and then press print screen to turn the options on and off. It asks for confirmation. Then you can do the same thing again to turn the option off. It's on the left side of the keyboard. Press alt, shift, and then press the print screen button. If you are blind, there are ways to use the computer without a display. You can explore those options here. And again, make the computer easier to see. That's partly the high contrast option and some other options. You can use a computer without a mouse or keyboard if you can't use those things. And you can make the mouse easier to use. You can look at those settings and you can make the keyboard easier to use. There's lots of options here. It's, it's just there's too many of them to, to really describe. Now I'm going to go back to the ease of access window Speech recognition. That screen offers you options for controlling the computer with your speech without using the keyboard or the mouse. And you can ex explore the options there. You have to set up the microphone, probably train it a bit to recognize your speech. Take this, there's a speech tutorial. Here's the training option for training the computer to better understand you. All these speech recognition programs, for instance, Dragon, have that kind of an option. Now, this one is supposed to open a speech reference card, but it, apparently they have a bug. It just opens a page that has pointers to various kinds of help for Windows 10. So that's basically all the options available for the ease of access uh, in Windows 10. If you will be using the Ease of Access options frequently, you should create a desktop shortcut. And once you've opened the control panel, 
drag the ease of access option onto your desktop. I would suggest you then click the name and shorten it. You could say easy access. I believe that'll fit on one line. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, I have over 100 videos on my YouTube channel. Please click the red subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. Subscribing is free and subscribers are notified when I add videos. To visit my channel page, just click Thomas Wallace or click my picture.